ever found yourself reminiscing about the classic TV era? Picture this, you're settled in for a cozy evening, and the black and white screen flickers to life, unveiling the antics of Car 54 Seconds Precinct in the bustling streets of the Bronx. As you're transported back to a simpler time, perhaps you find yourself pondering, when was the first time you tuned in to witness the misadventures of Officer Tootie and Muldoon? Or maybe, which classic Hollywood actor from this ensemble cast stole your heart? Before we dive into those fond memories, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Created by Nat Hyken, Car 54, Where Are You? Aired in the early 60 seconds, bringing laughter to living rooms across America. The sitcom's unique blend of humor and charm endeared it to audiences, making it a memorable piece of television history. Now, think back to your connection with this classic series. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to those memorable characters? Whether it's a hearty laugh shared with family, a bonding moment with friends, or simply a solo escape into the comedic world of Car 54, we want to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, dear readers, share your nostalgic tales and let the camaraderie unfold. After all, great shows like these are not just a flicker on the screen. They leave an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. Share away and let the reminiscing begin. Al Lewis and Fred Gwynn, well known for their roles in The Munsters, initially shared the screen in the 1961 TV series. Lewis made his first appearance in an episode titled I Want Go, playing Al Spencer, a city employee involved in evicting an elderly woman from a condemned building. This early collaboration laid the foundation for their iconic partnership in the Munsters. The show's theme song references Idlewild, which pointed to Idlewild Airport in Queens. The airport, established in 1948 as New York International Airport, was later renamed John F. Kennedy International Airport in 1963, following President Kennedy's assassination. This historical connection adds depth to the show's cultural context reflecting the changes in the city during the early 60 seconds. Har 54, Where Are You? offered a comedic portrayal of the New York City Police Department, exploring the humorous side of law enforcement. The chemistry between Lewis and Gwyn, evident even in their early roles, contributed to the show's success and set the stage for their future collaboration on the Munsters. In summary, the 1961 TV series Car 54, Where Are You? not only marked the beginning of the partnership between Al Lewis and Fred Gwynn, but also incorporated subtle references to the evolving landscape of New York City, as seen through the transformation of Idlewild Airport into John F. Kennedy International Airport. The cars depicted in Car 54, Where Are You?, closely resemble real-life NYPD squad cars from the early 60 seconds, adopting the white roofs and trunk lids with green bodies. However, a notable deviation exists, black fenders. This detail, echoing the authentic police vehicle design of the time, adds a touch of realism to the black and white TV series. A fascinating connection between on-screen and off-screen relationships emerges with Beatrice Pons, who portrayed a TV wife in Car 54, Where Are You? The real-life husband of Pons shared the same last name as the actor who played her on-screen husband Joey Ross. Pons and Ross not only played a married couple in this series, but also in the Phil Silvers show, showcasing an intriguing parallel between fiction and reality. Fast forward to April 2020, where the show's influence extends to the airwaves. The theme song of the City of the Day contest on Sirius XM's 60 Seconds on 6 takes a playful turn, becoming a parody of Car 54, Where Are You? S iconic theme song. Sung by Don Daneman, this creative adaptation pays homage to the timeless charm of the TV series. In exploring these facets of Car 54, Where Are You? We delve beyond the screen into the show's nuanced details from the realistic depiction of NYPD cars to the curious alignment of on-screen and real-life relationships, and even the enduring influence on contemporary media. These elements contribute to the show's enduring legacy, making it a noteworthy piece of television history. In the Bronx neighborhood of City Island, the TV series found its on-screen home. Car 54, Where Are You? showcased the daily comedic escapades of the New York City Police Department in the early 60 seconds. While the patrol cars closely mirrored the real NYPD vehicles of the time, a subtle alteration existed. 
In the black and white shots, the typically green parts of the cars were painted red, ensuring clarity for the local audience. Interestingly, the show had an unexpected fan and renowned author William Faulkner. Despite his aversion to television, Faulkner made a weekly exception, visiting a friend's house to catch Car 54. Where are you? This peculiar detail sheds light on the show's broad appeal, reaching even those who generally despised the medium. Beyond the screen, the City Island setting added authenticity to the series. The choice of location for exterior scenes further grounded the show in the New York atmosphere, capturing the essence of the city's streets and neighborhoods. As we explore the quirks and charms of Car 54, where are you? It's fascinating to uncover these behind-the-scenes details. From the altered patrol cars to unexpected fanfare from literary giants, the show's legacy extends beyond its comedic plots, making it a distinctive piece of television history. With the passing of actor Bruce Kirby on January 24, 2021, Hank Garrett became the last surviving regular cast member of the series. The longevity of the cast's impact extends beyond the screen shaping the legacy of the show. Hank Garrett's status as the sole survivor adds a poignant layer to the history of Car 54, Where Are You?, and highlights the passage of time since its 1961 debut. The camaraderie among the cast members, now preserved in memory, reflects the enduring influence of the series on both television history and the lives of those involved. Officer Leo Schnossier, portrayed by Al Lewis, brought a new dynamic to Car 54, Where Are You?, when he joined the cast in the 13th episode of Season 1. Interestingly, Lewis had a prior appearance in Episode 7 as Al, the owner of Al's garage affront for a car theft ring. This unexpected twist in his character's journey adds a layer of intrigue to the show's evolution. Filmed at the historic Biograph Studios in the Bronx, New York, the series found its on-screen home in a studio with a rich cinematic history dating back to 1912. The studio, originally built by American Mutoscope and Biograph, witnessed various ownership changes until its unfortunate demise in a fire in 1980. The choice of this iconic location added authenticity to the series, anchoring it in the heart of the Bronx. Had the series continued, its theme song would have undergone a significant change. The renaming of Idle Wild Airport to John F. Kennedy International Airport in December 1963, and the political shift from Khrushchev to Brezhnev in 1964 would have necessitated an update. These historical events not only impacted the show's potential future, but also reflect the broader changes in the cultural and political landscape during the early 60 seconds. In essence, Car 54, Where Are You?, was not just a sitcom, it was a product of its time, with unexpected character developments, a nod to cinematic history at Biograph Studios, and potential adjustments to its theme song in response to real-world shifts. These behind-the-scenes facets contribute to the show's unique place in television history. As we bid farewell to the nostalgic journey through the light-hearted camaraderie and comedic escapades of that iconic TV gem from yesteryears, let's take a moment to traverse the lanes of our own memories. Reflect on the chuckles that resonated with the rhythm of Car 54 Seconds whimsical tales, the characters that became your quirky companions, and the laughter that echoed through the living rooms of days gone by. Your connection with Car 54 isn't just a viewing experience, it's a bridge to the past, a shared smile across generations. Share your cherished moments, those uproarious scenes etched in your mind, or the subtle lessons hidden in the humor. How did this series become a colorful thread in the fabric of your recollections? What does it evoke in you? In this digital age, let your thoughts travel like a timeless transmission, connecting enthusiasts young and old who carry the torch of appreciation for classic storytelling. Drop your anecdotes, anecdotes that might spark someone else's reminiscent grin or prompt a newfound appreciation for the vintage charm of Car 54. Your words become the pixels of a collective mosaic, weaving a narrative that transcends time. So, dear friend, as we stand at this crossroads of shared memories and personal reflections, I invite you to unravel the tales from your own vault. Let the conversation flow like an unwritten script, waiting for your input. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane with us your time, and thoughts are cherished. Keep the laughter alive, keep the stories breathing, and let the adventures of Car 54 linger in the tapestry of our shared cultural nostalgia.